Hello friends, today we will see how to add quiz in Moodle. For that, you have to type this URL demo.moodle.net. See, this site is created or we can say that this is demo version of Moodle. Okay, whatever we will add on this site will get disappeared within one hour. Okay, now there are various roles are available on this side either you can log in using admin or you can log in using manager or as a teacher or as a student and password is same sandbox for admin sandbox for manager sandbox for teacher sandbox for student and by default these two courses are available over there my first course and my second course and today we will see how to add quiz in these courses Let's say I want to add my first quiz in my first course. So how to do that? For that what we will do? We will log in over here. You can log in. Let's say I am logging using admin. Okay. So you have to click over here. And let's say my username is admin and password is sandbox over here. Same is mentioned over here. Username is admin, password is sandbox. So admin is the username and sandbox is the password. Let's log in. Okay. So you can see your courses, available courses right over here. My first course and my second course. Now if I want to add quiz over here. So I will click on that particular course. Let's say I am clicking on my first course. Now in my first course, these many topics are available. In my first course, Topic 1 is available, Topic 2 is available, Topic 3 is there, Topic 4 and 5 are there. We can add quiz in any one of these topics. Okay. So if you want to add the quiz over here this setting or action symbol is there. We will click on turn editing on. We will click on turn editing on. Okay. So see here. After turn editing on we will see this kind of the symbol or this kind of the button add an activity or resource add an activity or resource add an activity or resource if you want to add your quiz in topic 1 we will click over here if you want to add quiz in topic 2 we will click on over here ok right now suppose if I want to add my quiz in topic number 1 then I will click add an activity or resource now these many activities are there in Moodle out of that we have to find where is quiz here is our quiz ok and we will add that now when you will start with the quiz we have to give the name of that quiz particularly so let's say my quiz is quiz 1 ok then if needed you can give the description description means how much time you are going to give to your students to attend this quiz ok what kind of the questions you are on questions you are asking let's say total time time to attempt See, I am going to give 5 minutes as a quiz time. So, student must complete their quiz within 5 minutes. You can give that time according to your length of quiz. Okay. So, let's see. And I want this description should be visible on my first page. So, we will click on display description on the course page. So, it will be visible to our students while they will appear the quiz one. Okay, let's say what is timing. So our quiz will start on particular day and it will end on particular day. Let's say my quiz should start on 13th of June 2018 and it should end on let's say 14th of June 2018. So I'm going to give one day to my students to attempt this quiz. 13th of June 2018 up to 14th of June 2018. Okay, then do we want to set the time limit? If yes, then enable this one and we will make this 5. As I mentioned over here, 
students are going to get the five minutes if you want to give more time suppose if, if you have written 10 minutes over here then just type 10 over here that's it then what will happen when attempt or time expires okay attempt must be submitted before the expires or they are not counted okay so what we will do these many options are available so I will use this option open attempts are submitted automatically doesn't matter how many at how many questions that person that student has attempted all these attempted options will get submitted if you want to give grace period then you can give grace period for that particular quiz I don't want to give that grade grade to pass suppose if you want your students to score 70 percent then we will write over here 7 suppose if you want your student to pass let's say 50 percent is needed then we will type 5 so it is from 0 to 10 you have to give the grade from 0 to 10 suppose if your students want to pass let's say 40 percent is pa passing criteria then we will write 4 over here then do you want to give unlimited attempts no i will give only one attempt to my students then layout then how many questions will appear on particular page let's say 10 questions per page that's my layout for my quiz question behavior shuffle within the questions yes i will shuffle my questions this option is not needed review options now these are the three parameters during the attempt what student will be able to see immediately after the attempt what student will be able to see and still quiz is open what they will see means suppose within five minutes i have completed that but that quiz is still open okay for entire day then what they will be able to see and after the quiz is closed means after entire one day what they will be able to see we can mark we can check or uncheck those things over here okay appearance user picture if you want to give grades in decimal places then how many decimal places you want i am not going to change that extra restrictions i am not going to change that overall feedback if you want to give personalized feedback to your students then you can provide over here if that person scores hundred percent then what will be your feedback okay if he scores passing percent then what will be your feedback and so i'm not going to give that common model settings again it is not needed restriction access again not needed tax competence is not needed okay so what we will do we will click on save and return to course okay so you can see that right now i have added under topic number one course name is my first course in my first course topic is topic one and in it i have added quiz one let's see what is there in that quiz i will click on quiz one so in quiz one you can see no questions have been added yet. okay so we will edit the quiz to add the questions okay so if you want to add the question you have to click over here add and a new question okay so these many options are available what kind of the questions you want to ask what kind of the nature if you want to ask ACTF question matching question multiple choice question numerical questions i will select multiple questions multiple choice questions okay and add okay. so where you are going to add that question that category is needed over here so i am going to add that question in quiz number one that's why i will select this category default for quiz number one okay then question number one question name means what is your exact question so let's say simple question is there what is two plus two what is two plus two 
so we will copy down that exact thing over here question name and question text ideally should be same what is 2 plus 2 and how many marks you want to give for that question let's say I'm going to give one mark for this question How many options are correct? Only one answer is correct. Okay, for this. Let's say choice number one. Two plus two, let's say is five. This is wrong answer. That's why we are not going to give any grade over here. Let's say choice number two. It say two plus two is four. Yes, this answer is correct. That's why I will give grade to this answer. And since this answer is completely correct, that's why I can give 4 marks over here. Let's say choice number 3. Again, 2 plus 2 is 3. Wrong answer, that's why no grade. And let's say choice number 4. 2 plus 2 is, let's say, 8. Which is also a wrong answer, that's why no grade. Okay. And save changes we will click on save changes okay. so you can see if you want to add many more questions you can add over here and finally you have to click on save okay. then if you will go to your course and then your quiz then you can see it will start from this date, it will end on this date and number of attempts are just one and time limit is five minutes. Let's attempt our quiz. Okay. Let's start the attempt. Okay. So what is two plus two? We know that our answer should be four. Suppose I will give the wrong answer and I will click on finish attempt. See, it will show us time remaining. Total time was 5 minutes. I have completed hardly within 1 minute. I will click on submit and finish. Submit and finish. Okay. So it will show us 2 plus 2 is not 3. The correct answer is 4. That's it. See, thank you very much.